when I come in and I work with an organization, um, we figure out who is going to be their main message to person delivering the message. And I, I kind of like the phrase, the conversation manager. Um, you see conversation managers in all industries nowadays. Um, they might have different titles, uh, but th the bottom line is it's the person who is tapped into every um, area that you're you're out there talking and conversing, and they're the person who is actually carrying on the conversation day to day. Um, this person should be a um, an established person who you trust with your message. And when I say that, one of the things I like to put out there is consider if you were having a press conference, who would you put in front of the cameras? Would you put your intern who just walked in the door? Would you put a uh, young employee who you know who's who's fresh out of college, or would you put one of your leaders or one of the people that you've entrusted in a um, higher capacity in the organization? And the answer is most likely you would put the the trusted leader, the board member, or um, a director, or you know, a development director, or perhaps the executive director. So when you're dealing with social media, you don't necessarily need your executive director or your board director running the conversation, nor would that be a smart use of time. But definitely look at whoever is going to be managing that conversation, that they are at a certain level of sophistication, that they understand the message, they understand the tools, and they're comfortable using the tools, and they're comfortable delivering the message, because they're going to be the face of your organization. Um, and you, there are lots of stories of people hiring interns. You, you hear about it a lot in the corporate world, these stories where everything goes wrong because they brought an intern in who then said the wrong thing. Um, and it amazes me because this message is out there and people, it, it's told over and over again, but I um, run into organizations, businesses and organizations, big and small, who will continue to put an intern into that role. Uh, and I, if there was a piece of advice that I could give would be not to do that. It's easy to think that the technology, that the, the young people coming up understand this technology, they've grown up with it, they get social media, they, they had Facebook since the day they were born, so why wouldn't they be the person that you put in charge? And um, although that's true, they understand social media, they also have grown up in and they're just young, and they've grown up in that world of telling everything. You know, so if you look at a 14-year-old's Facebook page, you will see that they don't censor anything. They talk about everything wide open. They have no qualms about things being public. And so it takes a while to develop that ability to hold a conversation in a professional sense. So that, that would be why, you know, a really wise thing and why I would say step back and really look at who's managing the conversation. Um, and while we're talking about conversations, the other thing that I really like to try to help nonprofits and organizations figure out is how are you going to manage this? It's easy to say let's have one person manage all the conversation and then that's our social media person. Um, but I, I really, the more I see what's going on in social media, the organizations that are most effective are the ones who train their employees and allow their employees to have their own presence in social media and encourage their employees to deliver their message, you know, links or, you know, hey, this great event is coming up or whatever the message might be, um, and helping them give them the tools and the training needed to deliver that message. A good corporate example of this would be Zappos. And every, I mean, that, that's one people talk about often, that they really embrace social media across the organization. And you see, if you were to go search Zappos, you'll see 20 or 25 people from that company who you'll see their name and an underscore in Zappos on Twitter. And they're out there having their own conversations. They use Twitter. They probably talk about anything and everything that they want to, but they're also ha talking about this organization that they love. They enjoy working there, and they understand that their bottom line, the dollars that come in, revolve around the work that they're doing and the message they're sending as well. Um, nonprofits, oftentimes in fundraising, my experience has been that it gets siloed off. Your development person or your development department does the fundraising, and then everyone else does all the good work, um, changing the world, 
type work and it's really easy to be in that kind of thinking instead of thinking that in the the fundraising that happens your development people your board your executive director that that money is what pays everyone's paycheck and for the organization to reach their mission um, the word has to be spread about this organization and so the more you can help your employees encourage them to spread that message. Um, it's the same concept if that they're standing in the grocery store line and they happen to strike up a conversation with someone and they say, uh, what do you do? Well, I work here. Well, what do you do? I work at you know, this nonprofit and this is what we do and you're really excited about what you do and that person then goes home and says, wow, you know, I have this really good feeling about whatever nonprofit it is that, that that person was talking about. It's the same type of concept, only then taking it online. Um, so uh, I really encourage the use of social media, that it, it becomes something that if the organization can grasp and, and embrace and um, encourage people, just train them on the tools, tell them what messages you would like them to send out. They can obviously change the words and whatever, um, but really encourage them to use it and I think you'll see, if you have a plan, that you'll see success um, in the long run.